Hello and welcome to a quick overview of Veneer ROM. This is not a review. I am going to be test piloting this ROM for as long as I can and uh, get a good feel for it before I do the review on it. There's been a lot of Android 5.0 ROMs out, 5.0.2 ROMs out now uh, for the LG G2. Most of them, actually all of them that I know of, are based off of CyanogenMod uh, 12. This is Android KitKat 5.0.2 here, as you can see. There you go. All right. <clears throat> Real quick, uh, they kept with the uh, the light colored theme of KitKat. There are uh, at least there's one on that I know of specifically that changes that. And here's your customizations. You got your navigation bar. As you can see here, I got the five navigation bar. And interestingly enough, if you come over here to settings, you can actually change the height as well. You can change the long press delay. You can allow for legacy menu keys, which when you disable this, you get the wider layout. When you enable it, it compresses them. I prefer the wider layout. And you can do the number of enabled layouts and then, of course, the navigation search assistant. The other options you have with this ROM, status bar. You have the brightness control that you can set to slide. You get the quick pull down. You got the show notification count, show weather in the status bar. Um, And I haven't actually seen that work yet, but the options there so it must be coming. That or I could be doing something wrong. I just installed this ROM yesterday. You've got uh, your battery style here. Of course, I'm a fan of the circle battery, but you have all those options including hidden right there. You've got your clock style to the right, or you can change it to the center or no clock, as well as the option to hide the AMPM, a feature that I do like as for appearances. Other than that, what you're looking at here is your KitKat. You've got your brightness level, you have adaptive brightness. Uh, rotation, sleep, daytime, lift to wake, disable that. That's just my recommendation. You can leave it on if you want to. Uh, double tap to wake, I leave it disabled. You got double tap to wake right here, and yes, it does work. And double tap to sleep does work as well. As you can see, you've got uh, wake on plug and color calibration settings right there sound. I'm kind of breezing through these. This is just what you come to expect from KitKat. you got your interruptions feature here uh, that you can set up. you got your other sounds here. All right. You can set that up. Battery light, notification light. Uh, when the device is locked, show all notification content, app notifications, and notification access. Storage, I'm not going to worry about that. Battery, not going to worry about that. Apps, not going to worry about that. Users, and you know what that is, tap and pay, you know what that is, system profiles, you know what that is. Everything else here is the same. But these are the features that you've got currently with Veneer. There are two different versions of this ROM. And real quick, this is actually brought to us uh, by the developer Pseudo SU Root Dev. And he is a member of the Veneer uh, AOSP team. Now, there are the... L5 branch, which is what I'm running, and there's the Exodus branch. And if you're wondering which is which, Exodus is where they introduce new features from multiple developers that, you know, kind of, um, I call it cherry picking, but they, maybe they developed it on their own, but different features, they throw them in there, test them out, see if they, people like them, if they do, and they, they, they all agree on it, it goes to the L5 branch. That's how I understand it. Uh, Exodus branch might have a few more problems just because uh, it will come with features that may not be heavily tested. And, but the Exodus branch might run just fine for you. I'm going to run this one first, and then I will switch over to the Exodus branch and bring you a review of both. But keep in mind that both of these are going to be actively changing as the team continues to develop and improve on the Android 5.0.2 experience here on the LG G2. Again, this is on the LG G2 D800 AT&T variant. Stay tuned for the video review.